Where am I even heading to? Let's go back to the road. Jamba and carry with to my safari world. If you are new, I'm Nimoyo and I do travel content based on free places, travel hacks, travel on badges, hidden places, shared feelings and so much more. Let's be Rafikis by subscribing and hitting the bell icon as we are heading to the road to our thousand subscribers. If you are a returning subscriber, I stand to sign up for coming back. At this point, I was like, okay, how can I go through with this one? And you can see over here, I missed a step and I just felt like, well, I was waiting, confused. I felt like, no way, no way, no way. And after I was through, just see for yourself. I was so pleased. Then after that, I went closer to where I was attacked by ants. Well, I don't want to recall it. But the place is so beautiful. This one over here, it's a root of a tree from above that has come inside the cave. And over here, he was telling me about this pot being old enough, like a hundred years. And it was used for placing water, drinking water, yeah, definitely water for drinking and just storing water for them so back let me take you back to your school time you know these rocks okay let me just talk it in a layman's language we have the living rocks and the non-living rocks that's how i can put it so like this one is a non-living one because its color has already changed but if it was a living one it will look like whitish to be white I wanted to climb one of those and you know in a local language in Swaka village the local language Mdenyenye it means to ascend or descend so you can ascend using a rope ascend using a staircase and that's why this is the largest of the sisters it's called the Mdenyenye cave so let me give you some bit of facts about this place so this place is found in Shimoni Kwale in Kenya it is believed to be the largest coral cave in Kenya and second largest cave system in East Africa after one in Tanzania. Man, all that place was full of bats. So, there are three types of caves. We have the Panganium, Denyenye and Kisimani. This cave was also used as a hiding place for the local community to run away from slave traders back way in the slavery. This place was so dark and so you saw that cave over there it leads you to another place Shimoni cave which most of you know it was like a harbor whereby slaves were taken to Zanzibar so let's go to the next one and over here again we have 40,000 bats believed to be the largest in Africa and the types of bats we have here include the Egyptian fruit bat, angle faced bat, long fingered and also the African bats that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. The second sister to explore is Kisimani, a Swahili word to mean a well, a place of water. My heart felt at peace on entering. I guess my ancestors were talking to me. Well, we have scars on the wall and this one specifically was a dotted scar. And your amusement, we even had a human brain scar. So this one is called an elephant leg because people used to say that they could see elephant passing outside. So they cast the elephant and that is the leg over there. More reason for it to be called 
Kisimani is because this water was used for bathing, laundry, drinking, and fun fact, it doesn't dry off, literally. We also have a village down there. Yeah, down there. Well, some kids outside. Oh yeah, but, but not for today. Because I'm still scared. We can't go inside. It's dark. What about bats? There's no bats. They are around 10. So, so. I stop laughing. Kuna around six rooms over there. We have some shelves, we have some pots, and so many amazing things. So, can we go? No. Why? I'm scared. Look, there's so many. Stop laughing. <laughs> no, I get for real. Stop laughing. There's so many bars over there, and it's so dark. A few moments later. You're gonna see how. Two thousand years later. To the many times I was about to fall down, to the scary me to go inside the caves, I want to say, Asante Sana. Thank you so much for the continuous support and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Like, share and comment. Until next time, always remember it's Mini Moyo and love yourself. Bye.